It is raining like it does on the west coast. And here's a little waterfall. Uh. Cycle touring New Zealand. We are now leaving Fataroa, heading through glacier territory, apparently really fast, and heading onward to Pleasant Flat Campground. Well, Wataroa Hotel, it is time to say goodbye. Bid you adieu. We'll be back for sure. Plain. Yeah. Where the glacier once sat. This is, I feel tiny. Very small. There it is, Franz Josef. Not gonna be there much longer. More like mini Franz. Yeah, mini Franz. I didn't realize it was named after the Emperor of Austria Hungary. And it was found by the well named first white person, we'll say. Julius von Haast. So that's where Haast comes oh, from. Oh, Haast. Yeah, an explorer and geologist. In Maori, the name is Ka Roimata o Hine Hukatere. The tears. Hine Hukatere. So some, yeah, leader. It was here? Told you. <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> I didn't even know you were recording. Yeah. <laughs> you went like... Well, because I was saying, like, wow, that thing has majorly retreated. And Darren's like, there's no way it was that far. And I'm like, you're right. Like, I must mm. be imagining it. And this sign says the glacier was here in 2009. And I was here in 2008. So, because I remember walking this whole way. And then it was like, oh, the glacier's here. Like, let's go. Like, we just climbed onto the glacier. And now it is way, way over there. Way over there. So I was like, how did they walk to it? Like, it didn't seem like it was that far away. It wasn't. It was right here. Hmm. I know the Earth's always in flux, but folks, the the evidence is yeah. It's I don't there. Think, yeah. We have had an impact. Yeah. There it I is. I mean, just the Earth will get rid of us. That's We're what, not going to kill the Earth. Happened. The Earth's going to be like, see ya. Wow. Well, just the little bits of it. Still looks beautiful up there. Okay, this is just tripping me out that 10 years ago, I was walking on a glacier right here in this very spot. Like this was all, this was all the glacier. This is where we did the hike, all in here. And you looked up and you saw the rest of this massive wall of ice and now it's, it's gone. There's hardly anything left. Just 10 years, like I wouldn't think that would be possible. It's insane. I'm pretty sure he's just waving goodbye to the glacier. Bye bye. Oh, bye glacier. It's so beautiful. It's so sad. Good morning.
morning, everybody. We are in the Franz Joseph YHA hostel. That's where we pulled into last night. And we're heading out this morning. It's looking a little dark. A little dark and cloudy. There is rain and snow predicted for today. So it should, uh, should get interesting. This is it. We're heading over the Host Pass. So we have three days to do that. We'll kind of ride up to the beginning of it. And then there's like two saddles. So we'll tackle that over the next two days. And should be fun. We were lucky enough to have this six-person dorm room to ourselves last night. That's actually happened a lot to us where we've just had a whole dorm room to ourselves, which is great. So keep it uh, keep it under budget and also have the privacy, which is fantastic. It's the off-season, so that is one bonus of traveling in the off-season. You may have some cold, rainy days, but you get a whole room to yourself. The hostel is bumping, though. I'll tell you, this morning everyone's up and out. I think they're going on some heli hikes or something. Or skydiving I guess they have here now which seems crazy you'd think you wouldn't be able to do that in this area because the glacier situation's so fragile but never mind it's time to have some breakfast and roll out all right we'll see you on the trail <laughs> You didn't think we'd just eat cereal, did you? It's not how we do. Cereal's the appetizer. That's the appetizer. This is the real deal right here. Yes. Yes. Gotta fuel up for these long days that we got in the rain. Yeah. Okay. Oh, blue sky. See some blue sky out there. Ready to ride. Let's do this. Helmet. Helmet on. It's so tempting to put on all my layers because it's pretty chilly right now, but I know that in 15 minutes I'm going to be sweltering hot. Luckily this jacket has pit zips. Those are clutch. few hours of non-rainy cycling while as we go over these hills to Fox Glacier. Alright there? Yep. Got some squeaks? Okay. We gotta roll. This place is exactly how I remember it <laughs> 10 years ago. I stayed in this place here, Chateau Franz. It's pretty sweet. It's a cool, classic, old school hostel. The YHA is like pristine. If you want like clean, tidy, oh my god. And we got to go in a sauna last night. That was awesome. They have a dry sauna there. Oh crap, I'm missing a glove. Give me something, right, something good. good. Here we come. It's really pretty, but the clouds are obscuring the beautiful mountains back there. car just like this. This is the last of the three hills between Franz and Fox. Here we go, let's get it! Come on, we gotta appreciate and uh, take advantage of the sunshine and lack of rain.
can just see the tip of that peak. Oh, look at it. Glacier has expanded. There is a lot more here than I remember. Wow, this is cool. I would stay here probably. Yeah. If I had two choices. But don't underestimate that that section. What'd oh, you think? That's three passes. Yeah. Not yeah. like Kyrgyzstan passes, but passes. Yeah, like it's pretty steep climbing. I think it was two thousand feet in twelve miles or something, so it's a fair bit. I mean, doable. It took us two hours and we were stopping and filming and stuff. Not to be underestimated for sure. If you're like, ah, oh, it's only 25 more K, like, just bust that out in an hour or something. <laughs> no. All right, I think we're going to grab some more food because we realize that our appetites are large. So we should get some more bread just in case we want to uh, be able to have some midnight snacks in the tent. Because it seems like we eat dinner and then we have to have a second dinner or at least some milk and cookies. All right, we're going to go grab some stuff. Bread. <laughs> That's all we need, just a loaf of bread that'll, that'll get us through. <sighs> Copeland Track. Did this one ten years ago with Melanie. Melanie, where are you, Melabama? Remember that? God, all I remember is a lot of sand flies, a lot of water, awesome hot pools, and playing cards and neither one of us knowing any card games to play. <laughs> it's a beautiful walk, though. Get in some... Uh, Getting some good hike in there. But for us today, good lunch spot. Well, confirmed, there's still a lot of sandflies here because we are doing the sandfly dance. <laughs> All right, we gotta roll, we gotta move. I'm trying to beat this rain too. It's gonna be here in the next couple hours, I think. And we've still got about three hours to go, so let's move it. Oh. Wow. Rain? Almost. Now the rain's here. Oh yeah. It's gonna keep coming. All night. All night. All night. Yep. Clear day tomorrow. Hopefully. And then the next day. precipitation out here. Ah. Oh, thank goodness we're here. Whew. Those last 20 Ks were, were tough just because it's cold and wet. This is probably the coldest and wettest we've been yet. I'm actually staying pretty warm under the gear but I didn't have my hood on before and my face was starting to freeze. I'm pretty sure there's puddles in my shoes as well but I'm happy for those Gore-Tex socks. Okay, almost here. Gonna set up camp really quickly and probably just cook in the vegetable and maybe have a sip of our Bundaberg rum that we still have and call it an early night. It's a rain and it's a rain and this is actually pretty sheltered with the ferns. Mm -hmm. 
so that's good. We got the lake out here. Hey, there's the lake. Nice camp spot, actually. Mm -hmm. Too bad there's no shelter, but I can see now why there's not. It's like the other side of the foot. Yeah. I, uh, I collected some water during the... Do you want, eh. some, you want some fresh rainwater? <laughs> Look at all the... That's pretty funny. Uh, wet. So wet. Tents up. Uh, it's a good idea to practice setting up your tent fly first, like as if it's pouring rain, because it is quite tricky. Mm -hmm. So if you're going on a trip, you should practice setting up your tent regular style and then also practice setting it up with just the footprint and the fly, like as if it's pouring rain. Cause yeah, it takes some getting used to. But we got it. Second time. Second time out on the trip we've had to do that. So that's not too bad. It's dry. <laughs> so it's starting to get cold. Everything is soaking wet. Darren hung that up last night and I was like, that should dry out. That should be dry by morning. I don't even want to touch my wet pile over here. Oh god. It's just so wet. Uh, I mean if it, your stuff is damp, you can put it in your sleeping bag with you, but the stuff is like, it's too wet. It's not raining now, so hopefully once we start moving we'll be, be warm enough. But... It was a lot of rain yesterday. And it's supposed to not rain today, right? Right. It's supposed to just be dry and cold. I'll take dry and cold over a little warmer and wet. Yeah. Who knows what the weather report is now? Okay, Sandfly City. Let's change quickly and motivate out of here. Pretty view though this morning. Hey, like a ton. Oh my god, we are just luxuriating in the sun this morning. Oh, beautiful view. So right now it looks like the weather prediction is correct. Oh, there's a dusting of snow on the mountain up there. Ooh, and there too. That's not that high up. Oh man, there might be snow on the pass tomorrow. Hopefully we can get over it. Oh, but what a morning. Just beautiful. Probably eat along the way, just try to get moving. Man, it's hard to get out of bed when it's so dark and cold. <laughs> I think it's about 9 o'clock now, so we need to roll out. Oh. Ooh, cold in the shade. Snow on the mountains. Look at that snow. Burr. Everything feels stiff and cold, including my clothes <laughs> that are nearly frozen. Uh, but actually, my shirt and my leggings feel okay now because yeah. they are pretty wet when we put them on. The last thing you want to do is put that on after you've been so warm and cozy all night. Oh, super stoked about our sleep setup though. That thing, that X-Ped mat is amazing. The Nemo bag is great too. And we have some really cheap fleece blankets that we bought. Just gives us some extra warmth. Super, super warm and cozy. Can you see that giant mountain behind me? Oh, I don't know if it's washed out. But my god, it's here. Oh my goodness. We both keep like turning around to look at the view. Ah. <laughs> We're in the land of Te Wahiponamu, the land of the greenstone in Maori culture.
Oh, we made it to a spot to get food. The hard antler. Well, it is a beautiful day today, even though the wind is blowing. But we are dealing with something, some of the ill effects from yesterday. Our shoes and socks are absolutely soaked still, and our feet are frozen because it's pretty cold out. And it's like not enough sun to dry them. And the sun's at our back, so our feet aren't even getting sun on them when we're riding. The Gore-Tex socks can only do so much when your foot is entirely soaked through. Like, my shoes probably weigh three times the weight they should. Oh, my toes are so cold. <sighs> mm. Demolished that coffee. Mm -hmm. How's that fire feel? Oh, I added some sticks to it. Did you? I want to bring my shoes in here and put them on it. Get the moisture out. I don't want to put my wet boots back. <laughs> A lot of antlers in here. Hard antler. Ah, nothing a hot meal can't cure. Feeling a bit better. We dried our shoes a little bit in the sun. And I think if we, if it was still raining today, I don't know. Whew, have to do some like emergency blanket or wrap them, tape them around your feet, try to keep them warm. But luckily we've got some sunshine. We were able to wring out our socks a bit and keep everything, uh, get everything a little warmer. What? Yeah, just going inside for a bit too and just warming everything up helps. Oh, look at this day. And I had a guy at the pub help check our, check the weather for us because they have no Wi-Fi there. So he kind of like checks the weather and it looks like it's supposed to be sunny again tomorrow. Oh, please, please, please. It'll be so nice going over the pass and then possibly be snowing tomorrow night, which would be perfect because we want to go snowboarding in Wanaka. Hi. Pretty. enjoying this ride along with us give us a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and here's a little waterfall
tonight at the Pleasant Flat. We just wanted to share this incredibly gorgeous view with you. Sun is setting. 